Z architecture, initially and briefly called ESA modal extensions (ESAME), is IBM's 64-bit instruction set architecture implemented by its mainframe computers. IBM introduced its first Z architecture-based system, the Z900, in late 2000. Later Z architecture systems include the IBM Z800, Z990, Z890, System Z9, System Z10, Zenterprise 196, Zenterprise 114, ZEC12, ZBC12, Z13, and Z14. Z architecture retains backward compatibility with previous 32-bit data, 31-bit addressing architecture ESA, 390 and its predecessors all the way back to the 32-bit data, 24-bit addressing system, 360. The IBM Z13 is the last Z systems server to support running an operating system in ESA, 390 architecture mode. However, all 24-bit and 31-bit problem state application programs originally written to run on the ESA, 390 architecture will be unaffected by this change. Each Z, OS address space, called a 64-bit address space, is 16 exabytes in size. A Z, OS address space is 8 billion times the size of the former 2 gigabyte address space. topic code or mixed spaces most operating systems including z os generally restrict code execution to the first 2 gigabytes 31 address bits or 231 addressable bytes of each virtual address space for reasons of efficiency and compatibility rather than because of architectural limits the Z.OS implementation of the Java programming language is an exception. The Z.OS's virtual memory implementation supports multiple 2 GB address spaces, permitting more than 2 GB of concurrently resident program code. The 64-bit version of Linux on System Z allows code to execute within 64-bit address ranges. Data-only spaces For programmers who need to store large amounts of data, the 64-bit address space usually suffices. <laughs> Dataspaces and hyperspaces Applications that need more than a 16 exabyte data address space can employ extended addressability techniques, using additional address spaces or data-only spaces. The data-only spaces that are available for user programs are called dataspaces sometimes referred to as data spaces and Hyperspaces high performance space, these spaces are similar in that both are areas of virtual storage that a program can create, and can be up to 2 GB. Unlike an address space, a dataspace or hyperspace contains only user data, it does not contain system control blocks or common areas. Program code cannot run in a dataspace or a hyperspace. A dataspace differs from a hyperspace in that dataspaces are byte addressable, whereas hyperspaces are page addressable. Topic: <laughs> IBM mainframe expanded storage. Traditionally, IBM mainframe memory has been byte addressable. This kind of memory is termed Central storage. IBM mainframe processors through much of the 1980s and 1990s supported another kind of memory, expanded storage. Expanded storage is 4 kilobytes page addressable. When an application wants to access data in expanded storage, it must first be moved into central storage. Similarly, data movement from central storage to expanded storage is done in multiples of 4 kilobytes pages. Initially page movement was performed using relatively expensive instructions, by paging subsystem code. The overhead of moving single and groups of pages between central and expanded storage was reduced with the introduction 
of the MVPG move page instruction and the ADMF asynchronous data mover facility capability. The MVPG instruction and ADMF are explicitly invoked generally by middleware in Z, OS or Z, VM and ACP to access data in expanded storage. Some uses are namely MVPG is used by VSAM Local Shared Resources LSR buffer pool management to access buffers in a hyperspace in expanded storage. Both MVPG and ADMF are used by DB2 to access hyperpools. Hyperpools are portions of a buffer pool located in a hyperspace. VM minidisk caching until the mid 1990s central and expanded storage were physically different areas of memory on the processor. Since the mid 1990s central and expanded storage were merely assignment choices for the underlying processor memory. These choices were made based on specific expected uses. For example, expanded storage is required for the hyperbatch function, which uses the MVPG instruction to access its hyperspaces. In addition to the hyperspace and paging cases mentioned above, there are other uses of expanded storage, including virtual I/O (VO) to expanded storage, which stored temporary data sets in simulated devices in expanded storage. This function has been replaced by VO in central storage. VM minidisk caching Z OS removed the support for expanded storage. All memory in Z OS is now central storage. Z VM continues to support expanded storage. Topic <laughs> MVPG and ADMF. Topic <laughs> MVPG. IBM described MVPG as, "...moves a single page and the central processor cannot execute any other instructions until the page move is completed." The MVPG mainframe instruction move page, opcode exib 254, has been compared to the MVCL move character long instruction, both of which can move more than 256 bytes within main memory using a single instruction. These instructions do not comply with definitions for atomicity, although they can be used as a single instruction within documented timing and non overlap restrictions. The need to move more than 256 bytes within main memory had historically been addressed with software MVC loops, MVCL, which was introduced with the 1970 announcement of the system, 370, and MVPG, patented and announced by IBM in 1989, each have advantages. Topic ADMF ADMF Asynchronous Data Mover Facility, which was introduced in 1992, goes beyond the capabilities of the MVPG Move Page instruction, which is limited to a single page and can move groups of pages between central and expanded storage. A macro instruction named IOS ADMF, which has been described as an API that avoids direct, low-level use of ADMF", can be used to read or write data to or from a hyperspace. Hyperspaces are created using DSPSERV create. To provide re-entrancy, iOS ADMF is used together with a list form and execute form. <laughs> Z – Architecture Operating Systems The Z – VSE version 4, Z – TPF version 1 and Z – VM version 5 operating systems, and presumably their successes, require Z – architecture. Z – architecture supports running multiple concurrent operating systems and applications even if they use different address sizes. This allows software developers to choose the address size that is most advantageous for their applications and data structures. Platform Solutions Inc. previously marketed Itanium-based servers which were compatible with Z. architecture. IBM bought SI in July 2008, and the SI systems are no longer available. 
FlexS, ZPDT and the Hercules emulator also implement Z architecture. Hitachi mainframes running newer releases of the VOS3 operating system implement ESA 390 plus Hitachi unique CPU instructions, including a few 64-bit instructions. While Hitachi was likely inspired by Z architecture and formally collaborated with IBM on the Z900G2 Z800 CPUs introduced in 2002, Hitachi's machines are not Z architecture compatible. On July 7, 2009, IBM on occasion of announcing a new version of one of its operating systems implicitly stated that architecture level set 4 exists, and is implemented on the system Z10 and subsequent machines. The ALS 4 is also specified in Load XX as ARCHLVL3, whereas the earlier Z900, Z800, Z990, Z890, System Z9 specified ARCHLVL2. Earlier announcements of System Z10 simply specified that it implements Z architecture with some additions, 50 plus new machine instructions, 1 megabyte page frames, and hardware decimal floating point unit HDFU. Equals equals notes. <laughs>